Hey guys, it's Mythos Gamer. This will be our 11th turn of our first game. We're going to go ahead and take the first player marker, move it from Mandy down to Daryl. For our upkeep phase, I think we're going to leave everything the way it is. Everybody seems to have a pretty good stat distribution, except when it comes to luck. For our movement phase, Daryl's going to stay in the woods. I want to keep someone near this end of town in case any gates open up and we need to rush over and get them closed. Bob, once again, is going to stick around at the graveyard. Now that that environment card is finally gone, we can attempt to close and seal this gate. Joe Dino's movement phase, he's going to leave Yuga, go back to the witch's house, and get an explore token. For Mandy's movement phase, she's also going to leave the other world. Come out and hit the roadhouse. She also gets an explore token. And now for our Arkham Encounters phase. Daryl's in the woods. We're going to use his special ability and draw two cards. You meet an old wise man in the grove who offers to share his wisdom with you. If you accept, lose your next turn and make a lower minus two check. If you pass, you may draw one skill or draw two spells or gain four clue tokens. If you fail, nothing happens. Our second counter says, you are bushwhacked by the Sheldon Gang. Pass a luck minus one check to avoid their trap. If you fail, lose two items or your choice, of your choice, and two stamina. Uh, I think we're going to go with the other one. But Dare only has a lore of two. And I don't think it's worth uh, using his clue tokens to add bonus dice and losing a turn at that. So we're just not going to do this. And now for Bob's encounter phase. We're finally going to get a chance to close and seal this gate. He has a fight of four with the abyss having a modifier of minus two. So we're going to roll two dice. And we succeeded. The gate is going to be closed. He's going to spend five clue tokens and seal it. Additionally, any hexagon monsters are returned to the box. The only one we have is the ghoul. For Joe's encounter phase, he's also going to try to close and seal this gate. He has a fight of five, with the gate having a minus two modifier, so we're going to roll three dice. And he succeeded. This gate removes all circle monsters. The dole we've been dodging all game is finally gone. And finally, we have Mandy. She's going to attempt to close and seal the last gate we need to win the game. Mandy has a lore of four, the plus zero modifier. All we need is one success out of four dice. And we did it. We sealed the last gate. We've now sealed Independent Square, Hibbs Roadhouse, the Graveyard, the Black Cave, the Witch's House, and the Unnameable. I just wanted to point out, because I forgot to mention it when I was uh, closing those gates, but both Mandy and Joe had at least five clue tokens each that they used to seal those gates. 
Uh, I know for uh, newer players that may have been a little confusing because I uh, skipped right ahead to the sealing the gate. You actually close it with the roll and then you seal it spending five clue tokens. All right, now that we've finished our first game, I just want to thank everyone who uh, watched the series and uh, who pointed out the mistakes that I made. Uh, hopefully from here on out, I'll be able to pay better attention uh, to what I'm doing and uh, hopefully not have as many mistakes. I do appreciate all the comments and feedback I've gotten and uh, please feel free to point out whenever I do overlook something. Um, I've already started thinking about the second game. I will be using a different ancient one and uh, definitely changing up the investigators. Uh, we'll probably use Harvey Walters in honor of the Watch It Played crew. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Thanks.